Hi guys, Sport Tutor here and my name is Anil Deshpande. So as you might have observed from the previous video, we did not utilize any of the other methods other than just on create dialogue. It was okay to do that because the dialogue UI layout was already being provided by the Android. The date picker dialogue, the time picker dialogue are already implemented by Android. But what if we want to customize our dialogues? What do I mean by that is, let's assume that I have a simple activity with click here field and on click of that, a custom dialogue appears. This particular dialogue is not provided by Android. This is something that I as a developer have to create. If you want to do this, then method on create view becomes much more prominent. It is in this particular method, you will be inflating the layout for this particular custom dialogue to create the UI. And after this, probably you select certain set of hobbies and click done and you want to inform the activity which were the hobbies that were selected. So if you think about it, the basic idea is you have an activity or a fragment and that triggers a dialogue fragment and dialogue fragment now have to inform back the activity or the fragment about the action or the user interaction that might have happened on the dialogue fragment. If you are wondering how this communication happens, no prizes for guessing. Once again, it is done through callbacks. We will have a look at it through a demo. So so for the custom dialogue purpose, I have slightly modified the activity. Now we have a, a small text view and on click of this particular text view, I am basically going to launch the custom dialogue. And that is what you will observe in the main activity. This is a text view and on click of that, I am invoking the show custom dialogue. In terms of how you launch the custom dialogue, there is no difference between launching a dialogue in which you would have overridden only on create dialogue. So it is just still instantiation of the dialogue and then showing of that particular dialogue. We will come back to this particular set hobbies selection listener later let's have a look at how the custom dialogue itself is implemented and as you can observe this is the custom dialogue it extends dialogue fragment it implements lot of lifecycle methods like on create on create view on activity created and it has got some other methods as well for its functionality so let's understand what is happening in these methods the first method to be called is on create in this particular method i am basically setting the style of my custom fragment so i want custom fragment to have header section and that is why i am using set style dialog fragment dot style normal and what kind of theme should have it should have a light white colored theme and that is why I am giving the value as theme hollow light dialog. If you don't want a header, then you can just comment out this line and enable this particular line and you will see the difference between how my dialog will look. Then the next method is on create view. This is the same on create view that you would have seen in the fragment and I just inflate it also in the same way that is inflator dot inflate and this is the layout file. The layout file is pretty simple. You basically have list view and then a button and then after initializing root view i am initializing the ui which is basically initializing the list view buttons or any of the ui widgets that might be there in the ui layout of the dialogue but other than that i am also setting the title for the dialogue once the on create view and initialization of the ui is done pretty much everything else is the functionality there is nothing more to it but however you need to communicate back from the dialogue to the activity what particular hobbies got selected to do that once again we have an interface called as hobbies selection listener and it has a method called as on hobbies selected and whoever is going to implement this particular interface has to provide the implementation of on hobbies selected and no prizes for guessing it is main activity that is implementing the hobbies selection listener and overriding the method on hobbies selected but this on hobbies selection listener needs to be initialized to initialize that we have a method called as set hobbies selection listener that basically means in the main activity this particular method was invoked where we actually set the hobby selection listener and then i basically pass on 
whatever the selected hobbies the user has clicked in the dialog box and when i click on the done i come back to the main activity and set the text view so if i just run it in the debug mode this is the method that gets invoked and then it comes over here in the main activity i just received the values that i had selected in the dialog box and that's it that is how this whole thing works and you might have also observed that when i click on done the dialog box is getting closed that is happening because in the new custom dialog i have invoked a method called as dismiss it is this particular method which is used to dismiss a dialog if you are in a main activity and in the main activity you had a reference to the dialog fragment then you would have done new custom dialog dot dismiss and that's it that is how the whole custom dialog implementation works i have created a slightly different version of this particular demo wherein there is an even an option of none and if user clicks none you basically have to enter a new hobby which is say for example dancing and add and you can see that new option here and you can click on that i suggest that you have a look at the code try to fiddle with it understand how the whole thing works with this i basically end the dialogue and next time i will be talking about working with restful apis in android that brings us to the end of this particular video don't forget to like comment share the video and subscribe to the channel take care bye